In this video, I am going to talk about the different career options available in analytics. And I'll give you an overview of like who should uh, learn analytics and who should think uh, uh, think of uh, you know starting a career in analytics. Uh, well, some of the things that I'll be talking about uh, here are going to, uh, are going to be my own opinions. Uh, you can you can get it uh, you can get different opinions from other people as well, and you can explore more on the internet. But uh, one thing I will suggest is that uh, not to be very confused. Uh, you just have to believe on one thing or just trust one person so uh, the first question is that before I go to like what are the different type of career options available people ask me like uh, what should be the education background okay uh, well it is always uh, good to have a quantitative qualification quanti uh, you know qualification in quantitative discipline when I say quantitative discipline I mean uh, having a bachelor degree or master's degree or a PhD in economics uh, or in statistics or mathematics, any of the engineering field, computer science, operation research, uh, industrial engineering uh, or physics. But then, uh, but then your educational background uh, should not come in the way of your, uh, you know, interest. Um, for example, there are people who have come to me for training with a background of social science, like sociology or anthropology, and uh, they ask this question whether people are going to hire them or not. Uh, well, uh, the job opportunity are limited, no doubt about it, but definitely not. Uh, like it's not there is no pure entry barrier for these people. You can uh, you can still make a career in this field if you're coming from pure social science background. Okay, uh, so I'll I'll give you an example. Uh, the uh, I don't know whether you have heard about it or not, but uh, there is a site called uh, um, Kaggle. Okay, in Kaggle where uh, the uh, data science or the analytics competitions are held. Uh, the number one ranker for a very long time uh, is a guy from Australia who has a bachelor degree in psychology. Okay, and he's able to compete, uh, he's able to outperform or outsmart people from mathematics, engineering, operation research, or computer science or physics. Okay, so he, he remained the number one ranker uh, data scientist uh, or analyst for a very long time. So that says that even somebody from social science background can will be a data scientist or, or, or an analyst um, and make a very good career in analytics. But still you, you need to be very interested in quantitative techniques like mathematics or statistics. If you haven't learned it in college, you need to learn it here. Uh, you probably may not be very comfortable with the, the high end stuff, but yes, some basic stuff. Uh, are very important and then depending on the kind of roles you are going to take up uh, in the industry will 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 uh, decide whether what is the level of uh, mathematics or quantitative uh, you know knowledge that one need to have so one of the prerequisite to come to this field before you actually start thinking of making a career in this field is that you should have passion for playing with data you should you know you should love numbers at the first place because it's all about data no matter what kind of roles you're going to take up you'll always be dealing with data numbers you should be very curious that's another thing you should always ask questions why is that what is going to happen okay if i do this what is going to happen if i do that what is going to happen you just need to be curious, curious about knowing the pattern that exists in the data. You should be curious about what is going to happen in future. Okay, can I predict something? Can I say something about future? So uh, that curiosity has to be there. And if you have that, no matter what background, your educational background you're coming from, uh, you're going to be a very good analyst or a data scientist. So there are basically three types of role. Again, um, this is not limited to three roles. There, there could be so many other roles. Uh, but yeah, 
this is from my own experience uh, if you search on internet you, you will come across so many other kind of roles but broadly there are three types first is analyst or uh, nowadays people are calling uh, data scientist there is some level of difference but uh, to me i think both are essentially the same although many people will not agree with this so the role of analyst or a data scientist is to uh, apply uh, your knowledge of machine learning or operation research or statistical modeling to do uh, to, to analyze data or to find out pattern or to forecast things for future and all of these. Okay. The next type of roles in the industry that is available is the statistical programmers role. So that's more into programming or IT stuff. So people with uh, so people uh, who are good with programming and they don't want to learn algorithms uh, or analytical techniques like econometrics or machine learning can uh, think of making a career in uh, in statistical programming like SAS programming uh, or programming with R. So uh, what happens is that once the models are built, algorithm, algorithms are like framed, uh, there is another set of people, like a set of people will be doing the, uh, uh, building the models, we call them analysts. And then there will be another set of people who are going to uh, write codes in order to implement these algorithms in uh, in a real life scenario. So implementing the models or implementing the algorithms is actually done by the statistical programmers. So uh, so that involves reporting or creating dashboards uh, or even writing codes in order to automate something. So that's another kind of role. The last one is is a combination of both. You are a half analyst and half programmer, or you are a combination of both. Uh, so that is also like if you are an analyst, but you still think that you, you actually love programming and you you can contribute something to uh, the automation of the uh, automation automation of jobs. You can actually find out such a role. Or you are a programmer, you come from computer science background or purely IT background and uh, want to learn, you are interested to learn certain uh, quantitative techniques, probably the simple ones, you can actually aim for a role which is analyst come programmers. So uh, there are uh, some questions always asked like, uh, uh, like what are the uh, like if, if I'm, I'm already into a different field can i uh, be an analyst or can i start a career in analytics well you can you can um, like if you're an it professional and want to become an analyst you certainly can you probably have to start with the second role or if you're lucky enough you'll get the third one but getting the first one is a bit difficult initially if you if you're already uh, an experienced guy because you need to start fresh so there uh, it's going to be a bit problematic but yes you can aim for a role as a statistical programmer and then uh, or if you're lucky you will get uh, you know statistical programming role with some data science or analyst uh, you know uh, kind of work and uh, gradually you can move on to do high-end uh, analytical work and be be an analyst or be a data scientist so uh, but there is no entry barrier as such as a lot of people actually say and talk about it uh, in blogs there is absolutely no entry barrier anyone and everyone can be a, an analyst or a data scientist